Hi, welcome back. How many of you are familiar with or use homeopathy? How many of you know what that is exactly? Uh, you know me, I'm all about energy and affecting energy to help get what we want, what we need. And that's one of the most important tools that I have, that we all have, that can have some dramatic, dramatic effects on us and those that we love. I think what I would like to do is come to you all with um, a series of videos telling you some of my favorite homeopathic remedies, uh, where to get them, what they're called, how to use them, and then different circumstances that require different remedies that have worked for me over and over and over for the last 25 years since I've been using them. Some pretty, pretty huge, pretty um, miracle-like things have happened because of the use of homeopathy. I didn't have homeopathy when I was growing up. I had never heard of it and had no idea what it was. So in my 20s, I moved to Sedona, Arizona with my son. Just wanted to make a fresh start and experience what it would be like to live out west and um, have an adventure. So he and I drove out from the east coast to Sedona, which is in northern Arizona, about an hour south of the Grand Canyon. And we came in December and this was in the late 90s. And one of the first things that I did when I got there was the woman that I was staying with in the beginning invited me to a Christmas party that night with some other women from the community. So I went and we had one of those circle times where everyone exchanges gifts, white elephant maybe, something like that, as a kind of an icebreaker and everyone was really nice. And I struck up a conversation with one woman who was close to my age in particular and she was a mom of a little girl and so she and I had a lot to talk about and she was from California and New York and so she was a transplant there as well and she said that she was um, looking for a place to stay and we should keep in touch in case we wanted to be roommates or something to that effect but we should exchange information and um, keep in contact just for support and friendship so um, I got her phone number I didn't even have a cell phone yet so where we were staying there was uh, I had to go to the laundromat and there was a phone booth outside of the laundromat and that came in handy when one day within the first week of us getting there my son got really 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 sick his temperature was up above 103 he almost wasn't conscious he was listless he was lying on my lap like a rag doll and it was terrifying there I was, very little resources, 3,000 miles away from any friends or family, and I was didn't know what to do. I, I was terrified. I still had um, the insurance card from my job that I had just left before we moved, and so I looked up a local uh, internist and said, my son's very sick, he needs to be seen right away. They said, bring him in. I gave him my insurance card so that they would see him and I thought I'll deal with the, that part later. I've got to I've got to save my son. So we waited in the waiting room for what seemed like forever and they finally brought him back and well, I carried him back because he was he was completely limp. And the doctor examined him and asked a few questions and said, "Well, with the severity and how quickly it came on, I'm guessing it's some sort of virus and it'll run its course." He um you need to keep, let him rest, keep him hydrated, and within the next few days, he should start to recover. And that's all we have. So, <laughs> um, I left and was just as scared and clueless as I had been before I went to the doctor. So, I went back to where we were staying and um, walked down to the payphone, and I called my new friend, and I said, you've got a daughter um, what is your advice? This doctor couldn't help me at all. I'm terrified I can't let my son stay like this. Help. And she said, well, I use homeopathy and I've got a homeopathic physician that you can call and she can help you. And I said, okay, give me the number. I'll do anything. And she did. And I called and the woman asked a bunch of questions about him and his circumstances and his symptoms. And she said, um, I won't be here in an hour but come by and I'll leave the remedies for you in my mailbox you can pick them up 
drop off the money. It was, I don't know, $25, $35. It was, it wasn't anything. And she said, you know, what you do is you handle, you don't touch little sugar pellets. They're infused with something that he needs and put them under his tongue, let them dissolve. And if it is in fact the right remedy for him, he's going to go to sleep. He'll sleep for a few hours. And when he wakes up, he'll be hundred percent perfect. And if it's not the right one for him, then call me back and we'll try another one. Because sometimes it takes a few times to get just the right thing for just the right time. I don't even remember questioning it. There was, we didn't have internet. There was no smartphones. There was no Googling or, I mean, I just, I had to go on blind faith and my gut feeling and it was full steam ahead and I sensed no danger. So I went, I got the pellets. I still see it in my mind like it was yesterday. Uh, And put them in his mouth and he went fast asleep, didn't move a muscle. It was, didn't even look like he was barely breathing. He was so out of it for the next three hours in the afternoon. And then by dinner time, he popped up and wanted dinner and wanted to go out and play. And there was no fever. There was no nothing. It's truly like it had been wiped out completely and had never happened. I thought, okay, that's, <laughs> that's this is something I need to keep track of. So um, I forgot to turn my cell phone off. Oops. So I was saying that um, our experience, my first experience with homeopathy was astounding and wonderful, and I will be forever grateful for it. Um, and I've gone on and had thousands more experiences with it and love it and couldn't live without it. and. Now I have an astoundingly large collection of them because I just, I want to be prepared. And having my own pharmacy of whatever I want, whenever I need it, or my friends or family need them on hand um, is priceless. So I want to do a whole series, kind of breaking down the process of how they work, why they work, how to use them, what to do, what not to do, uh, to make sure they're most effective, what to expect, um, uh, all of that, all that fun stuff. So they, um, there's something that everybody can have in their house. They're each vial, which will last a long time, costs maybe seven or eight dollars at vitamin shop or Whole Foods or online. So, I mean, it's, yeah, it's just, it's incredible. It's incredible, this, this power that we have. Um, it's one of the energetic ways that we can help our bodies and our pets. Our pets can use them too. Um, to heal or recover from an accident or an injury or an illness of any kind. Seriously, <laughs> I don't know what what it wouldn't help with. Um, so anyway, I'm really excited to do that and I'll announce it when that's ready to go. And in the meantime, please click on the video and subscribe if you have not already. And 